Hello dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is estimation of serum albumin by bcg method estimation of serum albumin as this test evaluates nutritional status of a person albumin loss in acute illness liver disease and renal disease in conditions called proteinuria hemorrhagic conditions burns exudates in gi tract and other chronic disease in all these conditions serum albumin will fluctuate now the principle of this bcg method this test uses bromocresol green bcg dye albumin reacts with the bcg dye in the presence of acidic medium gives albumin bcg complex absorbance of albumin bcg complex measured between 580 to 630 nanometer and maximum at 620 nanometer wavelength colorimetrically which reagents are required bromocresol green bcg dye solution it's a buffered indicator albumin standard 4 g per 100 ml solution that is 4 g per dl test sample serum from the plain vacuity or bulb now the procedure take three test tubes label test tubes as blank standard and test add 1 ml of bcg reagent in all three test tubes blank standard and test add 10 microliter of the standard solution in the standard test tube add 10 microliter of the sample in the test test tube and add 10 microliter of the distilled water in the blank test tube mix well all three test tubes and incubate at room temperature for 5 minute after 5 minutes read absorbance colorimetrically at wavelength of 620 nanometer now the procedure take three test tubes label test tube b for blank s for standard t for test Now add 1 ml of BCG reagent in all three test tubes blank standard and test add 10 microliter of distilled water in blank test tube add 10 microliter of standard in standard test tube add 10 microliter of sample in test test tube mix well all three test tubes incubate at room temperature for 5 minute after 5 minute read absorbent colorimetrically at wavelength 620 nanometer observation od of blank 0.02 od of standard 0.21 od of test 0.10 calculation od of test minus od of blank divided by od of standard minus od of blank multiplied by concentration of standard when we add values is equal to 0.10 minus 0.02 divided by 0.21 minus 0.02 multiplied by 4 is equal to 0.08 divided by 0.19 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16.8 g per dl so here it's the result concentration of albumin in given serum sample is 16.8 g per dl 
reference range of the serum albumin that means normal value of serum albumin 3.5 to 5.5 gram per dl in this condition the serum albumin value has been increased now the interpretation part when there is increase in the serum albumin level then the condition is known as hyperalbuminemia it's a less diagnostic significant except in the dehydration when the albumin level is decreased the condition is known as hypoalbuminemia causes it includes in malnutrition or inadequate supply of proteins in liver disease as albumin is synthesized in liver in nephrotic syndrome that is due to loss in the urine in hemorrhages excessive burns and trauma increased protein catabolism in untreated diabetes mellitus hypothyroidism psoriasis etc neoplastic disease and leukemia plasma dilution during sample collection genetic disease for example n albuminemia all these are the conditions in which we will get decreased value of albumin low albumin values result in edema so that there is decreased plasma colloid osmotic pressure and so that there is retention of water in the tissue spaces so low albumin causes retention of water in the tissue spaces and that condition is known as edema serum globulin concentration how you will get concentration of globulin is equal to total protein concentration minus albumin concentration so the reference range for serum globulin concentration is 2 to 3.5 g per dl now one important ratio albumin globulin ratio so albumin globulin ratio is equal to serum albumin concentration divided by serum globulin concentration the reference range for ag ratio is 1.2 to 2.5 raised to 1 interpretation of albumin globulin ratio high albumin globulin ratio in conditions where albumin synthesis is increased or increased catabolism or decreased synthesis of globulins low albumin globulin ratio that occurs in conditions where albumin synthesis is decreased or loss of albumin in urine or increase in the synthesis of globulin there is alteration of ag ratio in nephrotic syndrome liver disease and in all conditions where globulin fraction is increased substantially what is bens jones protein it's a monoclonal globulin protein or immunoglobulin light chain that is found in the urine it's present suggestive of multiple myeloma or waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group batch and colleagues thank you so much everyone